Alright, so um, hello guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to play Conqueror's Tree. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys how to play it, and I'll just give be giving like commentary on what I do. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, let's start. Here I am in a lobby of a uh, Conqueror's Tree. So you can choose like your game mode you want to play, uh, and you can choose like three v three, four v four. Uh, most people just play um, 3v3s and room 1, so I'm just gonna be doing that. So yeah, this is a chat, this is just like servers you want to join, the different servers that are already in progress. And I'm just like, this is a, like a story, you can buy like game pass and stuff, so... Alright, so uh, yeah, there we already go, so... We're already in the game, so it's nice. Alright, so... Um, here I am in like a lobby. Um, so yeah, these are like the players, like, like different teams, so I'm yellow, and like uh, these guys are the different teams, like purple, green, and stuff. I'm just playing with like randoms right now. So yeah, this just, just, is just like a loading screen, so you just have to wait. Alright, after you're done loading, you can choose like uh, the map you want to play. I'm gonna vote, you can just like click on vote, and then it will vote for that map. So I'm gonna vote for Korea. Yeah. So we're gonna be playing Korea. So yeah, this is like a fast-paced game, so you need to be like act fast if you wanna win. Okay, so here you have to choose your lines, lines one or lines two. Uh, I'll just stay on lines one for now. And this is like the map. Okay, so I wanna start off by saying that every map is different. You don't always have to do the same thing on every map, and what you're going to be doing on one map is not gonna be the same on another map. So I'm currently in a private server. I decided to go on a private server because it's easier to teach you guys uh, instead of like actually going into the server. Because now I can go like in de into detail about what you have to do. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting off by uh, telling you uh, what every keybind does. So uh, you can just post the video here if you want to know like what every uh, hockey or keybind does. I'm just gonna be explaining it uh, like this. So this is like the box, or like boxing. So you just like drag, and that like selects your unit. And you can just like click, and that will move your units. Uh, if you play, if you click, and then you press Control, that will like put them in a certain direction, so you don't have to do it manually. Um, if you press C, that will uh, deselect your units. Uh, if you press N on your construction soldier, that will make a construction yard. Um, if you press U, that will like show you the building screen. And yeah, those, those are probably the most important keybinds. There's also others, but uh, those are definitely the most important. Okay, so now I'm going to be explaining to you what all these things mean on the screen. I'm starting off uh, right here. So these are all your troops that you have. I have three light soldiers right here. I have one scout and I have one construction soldier. Um, ten next to it means like the cap, so that's the maximum amount you can make. Um, these are the amount of buildings you have. I have one building, which is the command center over here. Okay, so moving on, we have this. This is just like the chat. I press this, you type into global chat. If you press this, you're going to be typing into ally chat, which only allies can see. And you have the diplomacy over here. So uh, on some maps, 3v3 maps, uh, mainly you will already have an ally you will be able to choose at the start. But on other maps, like 2v2v2 maps, you will have to choose your ally. So choose wisely. Usually you're gonna choose like the person next to you because that gives you an advantage. But yeah, it's definitely like up to you. Okay, so then you have this. This means like the this is like the amount of time you've been in the game, in the specific game, and then you have uh, this over here. This is just like uh, which team you're on. I'm red. Uh, you're black. You're pur I have blue. You're purple and stuff. Um, yeah, when it's like this twenty next to it, that's your ally. You can donate to him by pressing this button over here that will donate twenty. You can also ask for like a donation from your allies. Moving on, so you have um, this thing here, that's like the hot keys, uh, you can change that if you want to. You have your profile, that's how much time you've played, which level you are. You have leaderboard, you have this, to change the team color if you have a big game pass. You have the shop, you can buy skins here, or equip skins. And then you have this here, so that if you press U, that's like, it will create buildings. Uh, you have this, that's the cash per minute you're earning, so every minute you will get 
10 cash. You can increase this by putting up power plants. Uh, this is how much money you have, and this is just like a minimap, so or a raider. So yeah, you can see like fair move. This is like. Okay, so now I'm gonna be explaining the building to you. So this is a research center. Um, so yeah, you can make more units, or like you can uh, research uh, better units by putting this one down and researching. And you have a hospital, this will heal your units, bunker, uh, garrison, it's not really useful. Barracks is very important, this will allow you to make troops. Uh, naval, uh, can, you can make ships if you uh, put it down. You have a tank factory. Uh, to make tanks, you have an airport, to make planes. This will increase the cap, so the tank house, soldier house, stuff. Uh, power plant, very important as well, so this will allow you to get more eco, so I'll just place this down, and um, it will start building. Uh, you have nuclear plant, it's basically a better power plant, but it's like way more expensive, so I don't recommend getting it yet. I have shield generator to protect your base, you have, uh, water mines, uh, turrets, defend your base, CC, command center, this is this thing over here. Uh, Anti-air, port, port can allow you to make uh, stuff like jeeps, you have headquarters, and land mines. Okay, so uh, I've made this power plant, so now you can see I have 30 cast per minute, that's uh, better, so I'm just gonna move my troops real quick. Uh, you just learn, let me click like this. Alright, so the goal of the game is um, defeating your opponent, so in, my, in this case it's these guys over here. Um, yeah, at the start of the game, you usually wanna get crystals, uh, you usually wanna get the super crystals first if the map has some. So I would recommend just going for that at the start of the map and then just uh, putting down your plants there so you get, get more economy. Economy. So um, you can also use your construction soldier to build like at specific places because you need to have at least a, a unit or a building to build uh, stuff. So I'm gonna move my construction soldier over here. You press N so like this. So yeah, we'll start building. Now I'll put like a plant right here. Like that. So I'll get more economy. So, uh, so let's finish building right now. So I'll put down a naval shipyard. Um, so yeah, these are all the things you can build. Uh, oil ship allows you to get more economy. It's uh, basically a better power plant. I only recommend getting it if the map has more than four oil spots. So in this case, this map has more. So I would get oil in this map. Uh, gun modes and stuff. It's just like uh, there's just uh, damage to it enemy ships or enemy buildings okay so now i'm gonna exp uh, explain to you what micromanaging is so i'm just gonna put this guy away so for example uh, i'm fighting someone here uh this group over here gets really low on hp i want to move it back to let it go out of range and i want to move it back here so now uh, the enemy will retarget to this troop and this troop will not be targeted so yeah that's uh my micromanaging uh, you can also block uh, people for, for enemies from building stuff. So if I put this down, this will block the enemy from uh, building here. If, they can still build the plant, but uh, this will block the enemy from building like buildings next to it. So they can't, for example, uh, put a soldier house here because there's an enemy building. Okay, so um, I don't really know what else to explain to you. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. So I'll just show you. Um, how you can put this down so just go to oil spot press n there you go uh, you, for example you can get uh, barracks as well like this you start, can start producing uh, units uh, I, actually i recommend you get uh, light soldiers and snipers at the start it really depends on the map though because some maps uh, you're gonna need heavy soldiers because they do more damage but if you want to take out other infantry i recommend you use snipers and you block with the light soldiers um, yeah, on smaller maps you want to use heavy soldiers to destroy enemy buildings because they can destroy enemy buildings fast. So yeah, um, if you have any more questions, uh, just like send me a message, I'll help you out or just put it down in the comments. So yeah, if this helped you, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to. So yeah, um, 